friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books because I love them. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog for a limited edition version of Down the Rabbit Hole Box. I'm so excited because I know what the book is and it's a book that I have always wanted to read but I was never going to because it is a thick book and I'm nervous to get through it. First off, I want to show you guys the box. This is freaking gorgeous. So the usual box is a little bit different than this, but this is so pretty. You can kind of tell that it's limited edition. It is so pretty, but this is not all. So this comes with, this came in a giant brown box and we got some additional little gold gifts in this box. And I'm sure the rest of it is in the other box. So this is gift four we have gift six. I love this gold. You can see inside there's, ow, you can see inside there's even more gold gifts here. And there is a quote on the inside of the box from the book. So it says, I suppose at one time in my life, I might have had any number of stories, but now there is no other. This is the only story I will ever be able to tell. And this is from The Secret History. I love it. We have a giant gift number five. So pretty. We have a ton of gifts, you guys. Like, wow. Gift two. Ooh. Gift ten. We have ten gifts. Gift seven. Wow. Okay. Gift one. Gift nine. We have gift three. This feels like a book. Yes. We have gift eight. This also feels like a book. Did we get two extra books in here? I don't know. And then we have the book itself. This is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I'm so excited about this. I have always wanted to read this book. This is considered a modern day classic. This is Dark Academia and I don't really know what it's about. I just know it's Dark Academia. Let me read the back for you guys. Under the influence of their charismatic classics professor, a group of clever eccentric misfit at an elite New England college discovers a way of thinking and living that is a world away from the hundrung existence of their contemporaries. But when they go beyond the boundaries of normal morality, they slip gradually from obsession to corruption and betrayal and at last inexorably into evil. Evil! Okay. I'm so excited. Oh, you guys, look at the post-it. Oh, how cute. It's supposed to be scary. I love this. Okay, I'm excited to get into this. So let's jump right in and try to make it to the first gift before the end of the night. So excited. So I will be right back with the rest of the vlog. I will see you guys in the next clip. Hi friends. So here's the thing. I know I am supposed to be doing a vlog, but I am making this video months after I did the original intro to this video and I still have not read the books. I am in the worst reading slump that I have ever been in and I don't want to prolong you guys seeing this, like what's inside of this amazing box. And also I got a second box that I also want to unbox today. So I'm just gonna unbox them in this video and hopefully you guys can forgive me. I'm just not in the mood to like read books right now. So yeah, let's see what is inside of the secret history box. Okay, so as you can see, I started tabbing the book and that is as far as I made it. So. It looks really good and I'm pretty sure that I will return and read this book at a later time but I just don't want you guys to have to sit here and wait months until I'm back into the reading mood. Um, yeah so let's get started with gift number one. In high school a lot of colleges had sent me things because I did well on my SATs though unfortunately not well enough to warrant much in the way of scholarship and this one I had kept in my geometry book throughout my senior year. So this it's clearly the brochure, the college brochure that this character received. Yes, so this is a brochure to Hamden College. It says Shaping Minds since 1895. And on the back it says, come join us, the last place on earth for the worst people in the world. I believe that this book is going to take place on a college campus. This is a well-known dark academia book. So, and I believe this is the college that it relates to. So this is the inside of the brochure. And this is the outside. 
Okay, so we're moving on to gift number two. The bellowing of bulls, springs of honey bubbling from the ground. If we are strong enough in our souls, we can whip, rip away the veil and look that naked, terrible beauty right in the face. Let God consume us, devour us, unstring our bones. Then spit us out, reborn. So, I don't know if this gift is going to be relating to what I just read. It might be something else that is near there. Let's see. Okay, great. So we got a pin that says beauty is terror. There we go. <laughs> so we are on to gift number three, which is this gift. It feels like it's a hardcover book. So let's see. It was my diary. He was always nosing around trying to get a look at it. I had hidden it behind a radiator, but I suppose he'd come digging in my room while I was ill. He'd found it once before, but since I write in Latin, I don't suppose he was able to make much sense of it. I didn't even use his real name. Oh wow, this is a... Okay. Cuniculus molestus? I thought denoted him quite well. And he'd never figured that out without a lexicon. Uh, okay. So obviously I'm thinking this is a diary, which would be really, really cool. Oh, this is beautiful. And it's sealed. Oh, wow. So let's see how it looks inside if I have scissors. Okay, so this is how the cover looks. And these things are kind of, you can kind of feel them if it makes sense. Like it protrudes out so you can feel it. And then on the back, there's also like this little flower, which you also can kind of feel. It juts out from the book. So inside, it says it's a notebook. And the pages are lined and there's a date at the top. So I th I'm thinking maybe the deer has something to do with the story itself. I'm not really sure since I haven't read it yet, but this is really cute. And I think if you're reading it and it has some type of significance, like I think you would really love it. Oh, and on the side, it says notebook. That is really cute. I love that. Okay, so let's move on to gift number four. I stood up. It took forever to do it, the floor receding gradually before my eyes as if I were simply growing taller and taller by some organic process and walked to my closet. The floor swayed as gently beneath me as the deck of an airship. I found my overcoat, then a scarf. Gloves were too complicated to bother with. So I'm thinking this is obviously not an overcoat, but it could be a scarf or gloves. I could be wrong. I could be really, really wrong. Okay. First thing I am seeing is a little bag. I think I'm going, I'm going to be wrong, but I love the bag. It's so pretty. I am so wrong. What is, <laughs> what is this? I think it's a bracelet. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my God. Look at that. It's so pretty. So it's a little bigger for my wrist. At least I think this is what it is. Maybe it's something else. <laughs> Um, but I'm thinking it's a bracelet, and if so, it's really pretty. Maybe I can adjust it. Yeah. I don't, I don't really know how to adjust it, but it's, it's cute. It's very, it looks like leaves. It's cute. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is a bracelet. So let me just show you guys, because it's a little bit too big for my wrist. But it's cute. I like the gold. And this is the brand I'm assuming and it comes in like this cute like reusable pouch okay so we're on to gift number five which is in this giant well it's a medium-sized box okay she leaned her cheek on her closed fist oh it wouldn't have been so bad we could have slept in hammocks learned Spanish lived in a little house with chickens in the yard got sick I said been shot I can think of worse things she said with a brief sideways glance that pierced me to the heart I think that this is a hammock, so I'm not, oh, oh my gosh, this, okay, wow, and it's wrapped really, really nicely. This is beyond cute. This is so pretty. Okay, so first we get like this scallop looking teacup plate, and then we get the teacup that matches, and inside, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has like this pretty, like little, oh my gosh. And then, like, around the edges, it's, like, gold, 
this looks really fancy like what oh my gosh i'm excited i love getting tea things because now i drink a little tea you know i'm starting to drink more tea now so yay i have more cups that is well i have another cup okay so now we are on to gift number six i don't mean about the scarf oh he got another cherry from the jar they were all upset i suppose in a way nobody talked about much else but they didn't seem but they didn't seem out of their minds or anything mr Cor corcoran would act all sad and worried for a while then the next thing you knew he'd be playing with the baby giving everybody beer what could this be it's a scarf okay so they didn't mention oh this is a nice scarf yes wow this is really pretty i can definitely see myself like tying it onto a handbag in some way i'm gonna put this can i put it in my hair like let's try to put it in my hair Okay, trying something new. It keeps my hair back a little bit. That looks cute. I don't know how cute it looks because I can't see myself on camera, so I'm going to take it off. But I think the perfect way of using this is to make this like a handbag scarf because it looks really pretty in like pattern that I think that it would be a good accent to a purse. But also check out like the little clocks on here. Like that is really cute. So it's like... I like this I think this one might be my favorite okay on to gift number seven his hair was wet and all he had on was a bathrobe in his voice was still a trace of that liquory thickness I knew so well I thought you were in class small class Julian let us out early how do you feel fabulous said Charles padding into the kitchen his moist feet Padding into the kitchen, his moist feet tracking prints that evaporated instantly on the shiny tomato red lino <laughs> linoleum. L linoleum. Gosh, these braces, I tell you, I can't say words now. He came up behind her and laid his hands on her shoulders. Bending low, he put his lips close to the nape of her neck. You know what? I think this is a good time to unwrap the gift. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what this could be, so I'm just going to... Okay, it's a candle. So the scent is dark academia. It's black coffee, bourbon, and burnt sugar. It definitely, it smells like that. Oh my gosh. It definitely smells like black coffee. I'm smelling the burnt sugar, but I don't know how bourbon smells. So, I mean, but this is how it looks. This is the, the, um, the label. It looks really cute and sleek. I like it. Okay, so we're on to gift number eight. I think this one might be a book, but we shall see. Yes, I think it's a book. She put down the book. Ah, oh, lovely, I thought haplessly. I loved her. I loved the very sight of her. She was wearing a cashmere sweater, soft gray-green, and her gray eyes had a luminous... Saladin tint? You think you have to take sides, she says, but you don't. Okay, obviously I'm thinking this is the book that she was reading. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. If I had to pick my favorite classic book, it would be this because I remember this one. I haven't read a lot of classics in my life. But if I had to choose, it would be The Picture of Dorian Gray. Yes, I'm so happy. And it's like a special edition of it. I'm so happy. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a classic, it's literally classic literature. I read it in like British Lit, I think, or it could be American. I don't know. It was a literature class in college, but it's about this guy who wanted to be young forever. And somehow, I am very fuzzy on the details, but somehow there's a painting made of him and it, Everything that he does, it affects the painting, but not himself. So he never, like, ages or anything, but the painting ages with him. So, I mean, it's a good story. I really like it, and I'm so excited about this. Like, yay, thank you so much. Hey, okay, we're on to a gift number nine. That the first horrible shock was over, I was starting to breathe a bit easier. What sort of a letter is it? I asked him. Julian shrugged. You can have a look at it if you like. I picked it up. Francis looked at it over my shoulder. It was... 
It was single space on five or six small sheets of paper, some of which looked not unlike some writing paper which Bunny used to have. But though the sheets were roughly the same size, they didn't all match. I could tell by the way the ribbon had struck a letter, sometimes half red and half black, that it had been written on the typewriter in the all-night study room. Ooh. Okay, so this is obviously a letter that the characters in the in the story found, and it I don't know what it's pertaining to. Ooh, okay, so here we're seeing it says Julian Monroe. Spooky. Oh, okay. The first thing I see is a effing monster. Twice. I see it twice. I don't want to read it to you guys because I feel like if you want to read this book, I will be spoiling it. So I will read the bottom of like from the company. So it says, please note that this letter is what we imagined Bonnie's letter to Julian would be and is in no way affiliated to the novel The Secret History. So... This is something extra that you could only get here because they created it itself. It's kind of like getting something fictional. Maybe I should read it because, you know, but for you guys buying this box, you wouldn't get to experience this. So I'll read it, and if you want to skip ahead, you can. But it's very quick. I have been fighting with myself for too long. Sweet Jesus. I can't hold on to this anymore. They want me gone the whole lot because I know what they did. I know what they did. I know what he did. I can't stomach it anymore. He is an effing monster. The worst of them all. And a effing monster. He has killed a man and he wants to kill me. I see them sneaking around and plotting. I know they're up to something. Everyone is in on it. The man they killed in October in Baton Kill County? His name was McGree. I think they beat him to death. I'm not sure. I saw them the night. Outright lied and said they hit a deer. There was so much blood and cold blood, I think they did it on purpose. All rotten. There is a lot you don't know. The twins sleep with each other for a long time. I swear it. They all know they share a bed. That's not normal. They know and say... <laughs> they know and say nothing. Disgusting. They follow me around. They are all degenerates. They are planning something. I know they are. You have to help me, please. All true, swear to God. Please help me. This is why I wrote you. You are the only person that can. So one of the things to know is like this letter was filled with typos. So it was a little bit, it wasn't hard to read. I understand what he was saying, but it was definitely a little, like it was several typos in here. And I think that it was probably the character was someone who would make those type of grammatical spelling mistakes, I guess. Okay. And we're on to our final gift, which is gift 10. <clears throat> he cleared his throat. My movements are restricted, he said. I no longer have the ability to travel as freely as I would like. Hey, Hagia Sophia, St. Mark's in Venice. What is this place, I asked him. That information is classified, I'm afraid. I'm assuming this gift has to do with that. Oh, I haven't gotten a pocket watch in a really long time. So, not mad at it. It's a nice timepiece. It's really cute. So it's, it's black, which is very classic. How do I open it? Oh, okay. So you open it by pushing this in. Okay, I really do like the timepiece. It looks kind of modernized for it to be something that is really classic. Um, I really like this. I think it will be something cool to put on my bookshelf, but I don't see myself actually like wearing it or using it, but I would use it as like decor because it just looks really, really nice. Ooh, or I can use it to hypnotize you guys. You will subscribe to my videos. You will like all of my videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I don't know how to hypnotize people. Okay, that was everything that came in the Secret History box. I'm excited. I got a lot of cool things. I would say my favorite would be kind of a tie between the, uh, the scarf, the picture of Dorian Gray, and the teacups. Like, you got a lot of stuff in here for the value of the box. It was definitely there, um, given the fact that you would get a copy of the Secret History, as well as, like, so many other things. Um, 
yeah, I am happy. I'm very happy with this box. Okay, so I'm going to move in on another box that I got from them. I believe this is the January box. So it has been a while because I am filming this in May. So I need to go ahead and get this to like open and show you guys what is inside. If you're unfamiliar with this book box, it is a reading experience actually. So throughout the book, you see a series of post-its and when you reach those pages, you get to unbox a gift that is included in the box. It's really fun and it is a great way to kind of get you interested in reading. Um, so I'm excited. So this is the January box and the theme is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, so the book for this month is She Lies in Waith by Githa Hodge. So it says, if you go down to the woods today, on a scorching July night in 1983, a group of teenagers goes camping in the forest. Bright and brilliant, they are destined for great things, and the greatest of the group, Aurora Jackson, is delighted to be allowed to tag along. The evening starts like any other. They drink, they dance, they fight, they kiss. Some of them slip off into the woods in pairs, others are left jealous and heartbroken. But by morning, Aurora has disappeared. Her friends claim that she was safe the last time they saw her, right before she went to sleep. An exhaustive investigation is launched, but no trace of the teenager is ever found. Thirty years later, Aurora's body is unearthed in a hideaway that only the six friends knew about, and Jonas Steens is put in charge of solving the long, cold case. Back in 1983, as a young cop in their small town, he had known the teenagers, including Aurora, personally, even before taking part in the search. Now he's determined to finally get to the truth of what happened that night. Sheen's investigation brings the members of the camping party back to the forest where they will be confronted once again with the events that left one of them dead and all of them profoundly changed forever. Wow. I, this seems like it's going to be so good. I wonder which one of them did it because it has to be one of them. So I'm excited. Let's go over the gifts. We have gift four, ooh, an orange envelope. We have gift two, we have gift one, we have gift three, and we have a second gift two. So I guess when gift two comes, we would unbox both of gift twos. This one feels like it's gonna be a book. And I love when they give us a second book. It's one of my favorite gifts to get in an unboxing. All right, so that's everything that came in the box. So gift number one. Jonah glanced at her slightly startled by the question. Possibly, no sign of it so far. But more significantly, she was found alongside the remains of a stash of dexedrine. So it's possible that she overdosed. But it's also possible that she found something she shouldn't have done. Hmm. Wow, I feel like I'm probably going to like this one a lot. I'm definitely going to go back and read this one. But let's see what gift number one is. So gift one is called... Oh, so this is a candle. And it's called Who Buried Aurora in the Tree Hollow. And this is a Down the Rabbit Hole uh, book box exclusive. And it's in the scent Vanilla Chestnut. Vanilla is my favorite scent. Oh, wow. And it has like little thingies on top. This is cute. I love candles that have this. It feels really... This candle smells amazing. Like, oh my gosh. I love this. This? Yes. So we're on to gift two, which has two gifts. The colors were cheerful. Seaside-like. Seaside-like. <laughs> Blues and fresh yellows in bleach woods. One blue and white mug of tea was on a small oak coffee table with a book face down next to it. No sign of anything else living there, which was as he expected. As far as Jonah knew from the local gossip chain, Jojo hadn't dated for years, not since she'd lost her boyfriend to a climbing accident. So, you guys already know that I think one of these are going to be a book because of the sizing. But now that they mention a teacup on the table, I'm thinking that this is a teacup. So let's look at this one first. I think it is. Oh, it is. Oh my God. Okay. Favorite gift. Favorite gift thus far. So not only do we get a teacup, but we also get some teas. So this one, oh, they're both peppermint. 
which is cool. We not only got a mug, but we got an oversized mug, which is my favorite. Oh my god! It says literary AF. This is my... Yes. Gift 2 is my favorite. This box. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look how big it is. Like... And then this is like a really thick handle. Like, I have a good grip onto this. Like, I can... I wouldn't do that, but still, I could. It is possible. Okay, so let's see what this book is because I know it's a book. Ooh, I feel like I have this. Do I have this? Or at least I've heard of it. Okay, so this book is called The Reunion and it's by Gilomi Musso. It is cute. Let's see what this one is about. At the French Riviera, 25 years ago, one freezing night as her campus is paralyzed by a snowstorm, 19-year-old Vinka Rockwell, the most beautiful and glamorous girl at her prep school, runs away with her philosophy teacher with whom she had been conducting a secret affair. She will never be seen again. Okay, loving it already, yes. French Riviera, present day. Once inseparable, Thomas, Maxine, and Fanny, Vinka's best friends, have not spoken since graduation, but when they receive a notice from their old school detailing plans for a new gymnasium and inviting them to attend a class reunion, they know they must go back one more time. Because there is a body buried in the gym's wall, and they're the ones who put it there. It be your own friend sometime. It really does. What really happened that long ago winter night? Now nothing stands in the way of the truth. I need to read this book now. Like... <laughs> I want to read it now. I want to know what happened. This sounds really good to be a gift in this box. A let. I'm happy. So far, this is like one of my favorite boxes. Like, I'm happy. Okay, so next up we have gift three. I don't think you've been telling us the truth, Caroline, he said. And then he sat, not bothering to pull his notes out again. What do you mean? She asked in a small voice. You've come in here with a sudden and convenient story about Andrew McKenzie, a man who produced zero reaction in you before, he said. You previously arrived to point the finger at Connor Dooley and suggested doubts about Brett Parker. Are you attempting to misdirect us alone or are you being used by another member of the group? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> this is so cute, look at that. So it's a pen. And it's a knife, and it says, I will cut you. How cute is that? That is cute. Like, what? That is so cute. Okay, we are down to our final gift. So it says, And then she felt a sharp pull on her ankle, and she was sliding backwards, her face in the falling sticks and leaves and being scratched and cut by them. Come on, Aurora, he said, and leaned over to breathe in her ear. All you need is a good effing. Okay, so let's see what this this is. Oh, wow. Okay, this is probably the best gift ever. So it says, so obviously in that scene, it appears that, that one of the characters is about to be sexually assaulted by someone in the book. So this gift is saying that by purchasing this box, we made a difference because... Uh, the cost of an average down the rabbit hole gift has been do donated to In the Backlog, which is a national nonprofit organization whose mission is to tran transform society's response to sexual assault, domestic violence, and child abuse. And it says every 73 seconds, someone is sexually assaulted in the United States. Wow. Now, this is probably one of my favorite gifts because I feel like I'm making a difference. Like... I love this. This is nice. Thank you. Okay, so that is everything that came in this box. I am happy. First of all, I really love the candle, and I can't wait to read this book once I am out of my reading slump. And not only that, we got some peppermint tea, which I will be consuming, and probably my favorite gift besides the, um, besides this, because I know, like, I definitely made a difference, but my favorite physical gift in this box is probably this. Like, this made my day. I'm so excited and I can't wait to drink some coffee out of this. Like, yes. Okay, so yeah, that is everything. Um, I am so sorry, you guys, that I will not be doing a vlog for this video, but hopefully me being able to show you the gifts in both of these boxes will make up for it. 
Um, if you like content like this, I do this all the time, so please subscribe and like this video if you liked this video. Um, but until next time, I will see you guys in my next bookish video. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you. Bye. Thank you.